what I think really helped about Pittsburgh is that, you know, they hadn't necessarily fully realized any of the previous bubbles. You know, so like if you look at the Bay Area, like I think one of the things that actually sort of held back robotics in the Bay Area was that uh, success expectations, costs, et cetera, had already skyrocketed from internet tech, apps, like all the various things the Bay Area were good at. So when you look at hardware heavy and manufacturing heavy companies, it's really hard to do that in a place where 90, it's 92, you know, $94 a square foot for rent. Uh, and, you know, $200,000 is a starting salary, right? Like that, that's just, it just increases the level of difficulty. Um, Your nut is through the roof. Yeah, I mean, say, same with, you know, some of the other East Coast hotspots like New York and Boston. Like, yeah. Uh, not cheap places to start businesses. There were very established in- industries in uh, in Boston, you know, the mechatronics case and biotech case in New York, fintech and other things. Yeah, fintech for sure. Yeah, and then you look at Pittsburgh and you have, I mean, slight, as a Carnegie Mellon grad, but like, same with you, <laughs> you know, the, the biggest and best robotics institute on the planet Yep, correct. Doing a form of robotics that is harder and more different. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean, just just have a picture right here. Um, So, you know, doing a a form and a type of robotics that's harder and differentiated from what you see on on anywhere else on Earth. So that combination of quality with addressing um, hard problems on one side creates, I think, a tremendous quality bubble. And on the other side... I mean, you know, the the city has done a great job recovering from the collapse of steel, but, you know, there's been no Silicon Valley boom. Uh, commercial real estate here is not $95 a square foot or yeah. 94 or whatever. It's been it going was. up. You know, it's, it, well, it was going up and then it was going down. And like, but still, it's quite reasonable in comparison Correct. to even yeah, like, let's agree. say, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. So you have a very low uh, cost of doing business, a very high, you know, quality of individual and you know a culture i think dating back to the steel days and even before that of actually you know as andrew carnegie said you know the joy is in the work yeah so you have a lot of people here that enjoy what you know they're doing uh, are very good at what they're doing it doesn't cost them a bunch to do it and i think that's a very good intersection for starting businesses 